atmospheric and I was just like, you catch your breath back a bit. Obviously, amazing atmosphere tonight. The crowd went absolutely crazy when they heard your name. How does that push you to, in a race like this in such a great field? Well, I just feel like that, um, if the crowd are cheering for me, like they believe in me, so it's kind of another thing that makes me think, well, they believe I'm going to run well, I like to put on a show for them. So I ran a season's best, so can't have done any more really this year. When you're running against such a great, such a great field at such great time, how is that in terms of preparation for Beijing and championships and every season? Well, I think it's really important to practice competing against the top girls because that could easily be my heat yeah. or the very like best in my semi-final. So I need to be competing against these girls to be able to get into these the next round. What have you got planned between now and Beijing? I've got a race now um, in Copenhagen in ten days, and then it's just train hard and. From one in Beijing. How do you how do you focus for a, a major championships like that? How, what do you do? Just take each round as it comes. Like don't get too hurried away, and then just try and just execute the race as well. Don't get too caught up on the fact it's a world champ. Are you a fan of Chinese food? Um, <laughs> it's okay. I like to chain, um, but um, I think they're quite good. They do a variety of different yeah. dishes when you're there. Well, best of luck with the rest of your season. Thank Thanks, Megan.